What's going on guys, it's Bear, and today we're bringing you guys another video, I know it's been like a week or so, but yeah, been a little busy, but um, yeah, what we're going to be doing is making a 3D AVI in Photoshop, so it's going to be 2D obviously, but we're going to be making it look 3D, and I did a really bad example right here, I don't want to really show you guys because it's really bad, but uh, I'm going to basically just take this and copy it, and I'll, I'm not going to paste it, but I'll just like, make a little like thumbnail thing. So I'm gonna just delete all my layers except for my logo. And I'm gonna do some black and white so it's a lot faster and easier. So what you guys can do at the start is you guys can get three different colors that you want. I'm gonna be doing black. Let me just change this to white. I'll show you the colors I'm using. All right, so we're gonna need a lighter color. So what we're gonna do is add a little circle. And instead, I wanna make a darker gray. And then you can just click it again, bring it more down, just, so, you have your two colors. And what you can do, I'm just going to paste this in the corner, that's not easier actually. Alright, so when we're getting started with this thing, so, I pretty much have my logo and I have all my edges, and what we can either do, there's either two things we can do. We can either make like a perspective point down here in the corner, or what I can just do is take this and hold shift. And they're all, actually not all going to lead up somewhere, but they're all going to go straight down. So I can make a never ending thing. So, to get right into this, uh, I'm going to start with like one side. So you're going to either figure out if you want this side to be really dark or light, and I'm going to make the bottoms dark. So, the ones that go down. So pretty much make a new layer, put it below the actual logo. Click your poly normal poly thing tool and just click here. You need to zoom in actually if you want. Click in the corner and then hold shift all the way down. Yeah, I don't like zooming in because I don't know where I'm working. And then you can just do that. Come on, click, click together. Alright, let's zoom back out. So you're pretty much just make a big square off one corner, and what you do is go to your tool again, right click, go to fill, color, and you can click this one. And it'll do that. And I'm using the wrong color, so I'm gonna go fill, make it dark. And I'm gonna move these two circles somewhere else. Alright. And then, what we can do, actually, dark or light, um, I'll do the light darkers here. So then what we can do then is just make a new layer, click the tool again, go to this corner, pretty much hold shift, go down, and just cut through here. And then fill, color, and then you click the brighter one. Jesus. And then what you would do is go to like here and then cut that out. Alright, so you have that, and then you can go to this corner. Bring it over here. So it's pretty much just the same thing over and over again, and then you just click the color. And you pretty much do. Ah, oh, I just spaced out. And pretty much just keep doing this over and over again. Um, and when you get to like the sides, it's gonna be a little tricky, but it's pretty much the same thing. So you click this side and go. Come on. All right, click up a little bit. And you just pretty much like connect these. And you guys can go like above everything, below everything. It's just like how fast you want to do it and how fast you want to get it done. So. What are you doing? Alright, and then you can zoom out, look at it. Be like, okay. And then what you could do here is you can even make this side darker like here if I finish this let's finish this first I 
Obviously, this one would be the darker one. Oops, I done screwed that one up. Oops. Oh. Photoshop's really laggy. Alright, and then you can have that. And then you can just finish this off at the top right here. And what I'm going to do is just pause the video and get this done really quick since I'm like 5 minutes in, so I'll be right back. Alright, so I got that done, and I'm pretty sure I screwed up two of the colors, honestly, right here. I think I should have switched these two, but it's not that really big of a deal. So, once you get this pretty much done, you can just create a new layer and put it on top of everything. And then you can just... God, Photoshop, what the hell happened to you? Huh, I've never had to use that tool before. My brush is gonna load today. Ooh. All right, let's get this done really quick. Oh, as fast as my computer can load this. All right, you just make like a tool that's like a little bit, a little bit of a good size. Actually, put that below your thing. Put on black, and then just like go down like that. Where all the creases are. And then you can lower the opacity. Just looks like there's depth in it. And then you can add like, say we take make a new layer, you can add brushes down here. So it looks like it's like creeping up. something uh it's just an experiment with really like i can do here's find a picture of a wolf the hell is this shit wolf boy review uh interesting <sighs> whatever the hell that is um all right wolf moon Alright, I don't want one this high quality. Screw it. I'm not real. And then you can just like paste it behind. Why is it so tiny? By the ruin this opacity real quick. Alright. And you can really just take it. And you can put that somewhere. You put stars in the background. It's a really bad idea. But let's just like, take a brush. Put on the size of... Make it white. Three's not big enough. I right, put it above everything. But you pretty much just click around, make stars. Hopefully, it doesn't make a streak. Yeah, there it goes. Um, what the f? Alright, but pretty much you get the idea of what I'm meaning that you can just make this into like a cool scene. Well, now the dots are supposed to come up. Sorry my computer is so laggy, but I uh, hope this tutorial actually worked out for you guys. Uh, it's just a cool little thing to know how to do. Just like to make cool little logos for people if they need one. If you guys have any tutorial suggestions, please let me know. Because I'm kind of running out and I don't get home until like 8 o'clock. Or I get home like at like 6.30, but I don't get like to do anything until like 7.38. So, there we go. That's bad. But, um, that's pretty much what I meant to do. Is just make something 2D turn into 3D. And I did mess up the colors, but it's alright. It's fixable, obviously. So, if you guys have any, tut any tutorial suggestions, please let me know. I should start uploading other stuff. But, yeah. Thank you so much for, like, 500 views already on that one video I just uploaded. On my MLG banner tutorial. It's pretty fresh. But, yeah. I hope you guys have fun making logos and shit for people. Uh, make sure to subscribe because I almost have 1500 and I don't know what I'm doing yet, but I almost have 1500. It's pretty cool. Or 1425. So, yeah. Uh, that's about it. So, I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And Axu made this banner for me, if anybody wants to know. That's it. Peace out, fam.